Hello Scorpio. So this is the reading that I got for you guys for the first two weeks of um, February. Okay. Um, so I got the Five of Wands in reverse, the Emperor and the Empress. Both these cards came out once. Okay. I also got the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Judgments, and the Six of Cups. Okay. <sighs> so again, the X keep popping up in your reading. Like, I don't know how long it's been. It almost been a year I've been on YouTube. So at least it has to have been six months to actually keep popping for each reading that I do for Scorpio. And this one is no different. Um, but this one, the only difference I would say it may have is that this this time I feel like your past is definitely going to physically contact you. Okay? Um, they're not playing around. <laughs> um, they really are trying to get to you. And I don't know if you want it. I feel like most of you guys do not want to reconnect with this person. But I feel like they actually are going to physically contact you. They're probably going to start with, like, you know, communication first. But I feel like they are actually trying to see you, okay? Um, again, this is someone that you left out in the cold, okay? Because this is someone who probably was cheating on you, Um even though you are leaving out in the cold, probably in the time that you was in a relationship with them, you felt that they was emotionally unavailable, okay? And now they want a second chance, and then got six cups, and they want to reappear in your life again, okay? Um, I feel like how I titled this um, video will really resonate with you if this is your situation, <laughs> okay? Um, including the emojis, <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like, again, they're really trying to contact you. They really are. Um, now, for the Romance Angels, I got, and this is so ironic, I got released your ex. <laughs> and I feel like you have done that, but I feel like this person haven't released you yet, okay? Um, and I have getting to know each other, and I have honeymoon, okay? And I got calling your soulmate and express your love, okay? Um... This is what I got for the Romance Angels. So I feel like a lot of you guys have met your counterpart, okay, even though this, this past person is trying to resurface. Um, they probably know that, and probably that's why they're going extra hard this time, okay, uh, to trying to be back in your life. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have been connecting with someone new, okay, with the Emperor and the Emperor. You feel like this is a growing situation. You feel like this is the person that you should be with, okay? And with getting to know each other, you guys are being open with one another, and calling your soulmate, okay? With calling your soulmate, I feel like this is you just spending quality time with this person, okay? Especially during Valentine's Day, okay? Now, I got to express your love, okay? So, if you have been hurt because of previous relationships, even the one that's the that person that's coming back from your past, I feel like what you're trying to say is with your new connection that you are building, just be open. Don't let old wounds interfere with a new connection okay now when i clarify i release your ex we got the heart in reverse so your ex could be in a taurus or another scorpio um basically it's trying to say you're not going to be committed to this person um when i clarify getting to know each other i got the high priestess in reverse okay so that's trying to say don't be um it's good to be mysterious but don't be too mysterious um open yourself up little by little okay with this person and when I clarify honeymoon, I got the four of cups and the nine of cups in reverse, okay? So I feel like whoever you're connecting with, it's like this person's is like this person's at the right time and right place, okay? Um, because I feel like you have excuse of why you're not talking to your ex. And I feel like this person's kind of like your protector, okay? So if your ex is trying to interfere with anything that's going on in your life, I feel like this new person is going to set this person straight, your past straight, okay? Um, now, when clarified calling your soulmate, I got the Knight of Wands, okay? So, again, some of you guys are apprehensive and you you want love, but at the same time, you don't want to put your all into it, okay? So you don't get burned, so you don't get heartbroken again, Okay. And when I clarify express your love, I got the two of swords in reverse. So I feel like what the card is trying to say is definitely express how you feel if you feel like this new connection is the one for you or you feel like it's worth your time, okay? Now, when I clarify the emperor and empress, I got the moon 
in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Wands, okay? So I feel like this is relating, the Emperor and Empress, I feel like this is relating to your new situation, but the Moon in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse, I feel like this is relating to the past, because I feel like a lot of you guys have stopped communicating with the past, um, but the past is trying to resurface, the Moon in reverse, they're trying to open up to you again, they're trying to open up the communication with you again as well, with the Moon card being reversed. Now, when I clarify the Three of Cups, I got the Lovers, I got the Ace of Wands in reverse, I got the Page of Pentacles, I got the Five of Cups in reverse, and I got the King of Swords. So, you guys have options. Um, like I mentioned before, you probably have, you probably have, you're dating this new person, okay, where you feel like you can build a connection with. Someone else, I feel like, is trying to see, you are, like, are you single, okay? And then I feel like your past is definitely trying to interfere with whatever is going on in your love life currently right now, okay? Um, and with the lovers being there, I, I do see you making that choice of who you want to spend your time with, okay, for the month of February. Now, the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like that's you not giving the past a second chance. You may hear what they have to say. You may accept their apology. But you know there's nothing that you want to do with it with the Five of Cups in reverse. you be detaching yourself, okay? Your ex could have been earth sign, okay? Like I mentioned, Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? Now, when I clarify the Five of Pentacles, I got the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Two of Pentacles as well, too, okay? Okay, so with the Five of Pentacles, I got the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. So again, a lot of you guys are going to leave this person out in the cold, this past person. I They feel like... I feel like they're feeling the pain being without you, okay? I feel like they've been felt that in January, but they're really feeling it in February, okay? Um, again, with the Two of Pentacles, you still have either two other options, or that's you being kind of like indecisive of if you should completely invest your heart with any situation okay that's what i'm seeing um but i see the past is not happy being without you um they not i don't see them happy without you and they still being persistent okay now when i for the judgment i got the two of cups in reverse the um five of swords and the page of swords so, with this cards, okay, you're just not going to give them a second chance at all, okay? And you've been doing this for a long time, but I don't know why they continue to try and try. Um, again, with the Five of Swords, I feel like they're so overconfident that they can have you again. Um, they just now, once you turn them down in, a, in February, any time in February, I feel like they, they're trying to see if they can have a master plan. They're overconfident that they can have you. They're waiting for the right time. So... If you say, like, no, I don't want you, I don't ever want you, I'm in a new connection, okay? So, there's, like, they kind of, like, praying for the downfall of your relationship. So, I would just say, like, if you believe in, like, the evil eye or whatever, um, I would say just keep your your relationship status on the low. Like, don't even tell this person. Because I feel like this person's, like, praying on the downfall of that new connection and waiting for the right time to see if you will want them back. But... The reading keeps showing that you don't want them back, okay? But I feel like this is how this person's thinking. Now, when I come for the Six of Cups, I got the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Four of Swords, okay? This person's still in love with you, okay? And they still think of you in a highly manner. But you're emotionally done with this person. You're done investing your time, your energy, your effort with this person. You're completely out of that connection okay but this person is like they still they still want to be with you it's like now it's a little bit obsessive because it's like in every reading and i feel like they still gonna keep trying <laughs> it's like that old movie um it's an old 90s movie with martin lawrence i forgot that that um that famous actress um but she's a good actress um her name it's called Thin 
a thin line between love and hate, okay? It kind of remind me of this. <laughs> but not so serious, okay? But it kind of does remind me of it. Now, when I clarify the Five of Wands in the verse, I got the Six of Swords in the verse and the Sun, okay? Um, yeah, they trying to return, okay? But you're not here for it, okay? This could be a Leo, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, a Libra X as well, okay? Um, but you're not here for it. I feel like you guys are focusing on that new connection, okay? But yeah, that's the reading that I got for you, Scorpios, for the first two weeks of February. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing, okay? And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfitisherald at gmail.com.